Now, uh, oh, I, I think I see someone in our announcer's corner. Uh, let's see. Who's over there? Oh, look, everybody. It's Joe Hansard. Hey. Joe hey, is over right. in the announcer's corner tonight. How's Joe, my, this is a surprise. What brings you to the big show tonight? Hey, Arch. Well, I'm here tonight to laugh at your jokes in case <laughs> nobody else does. <laughs> well, that would help. And I'm also here to suck up to one of your guests, Ed oh. Sanchez, oh. director of the Blair Witch Project and uh, web series Para Abnormal, in which I have a role. I see. So yeah, Ed a, is here tonight. And, oh, uh, well, that's, a, that's very exciting. It's I'm very exciting. He's got a brand new movie coming out yeah, called Lovely yeah. Molly. Oh, it's that's uh, good. getting great press. That's good. Uh, what else is coming up on the big. Uh, Half well, hour. I want to remind Ed of my vast amount of talent <laughs> and uh, lesbianism. Yeah, sell it, <laughs> sell it, Joe, sell it. Yeah, <laughs> but also tonight, Arch, we do have other stuff. Oh, uh, we do. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, we're going to tell you how to get passes to sneak previews oh, of upcoming movies. Oh, we give stuff away. Give yeah, stuff we do away. that every that's week. Good. It's very yeah, exciting. Yeah, and, that's right. And we have letters. another visit to the Ask Arch mailbag. Oh. <laughs> did, we, did we get some letters this week? Yeah, I think we got a little more than normal this week. We might have three. Oh, three. Yeah. All right, good. Any Anything else? Well, we have the usual mistakes and screw-ups. <laughs> All that and less on tonight's Arch Campbell show. <laughs> so back to you, Arch. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Hansard in the announcing booth. <laughs> tonight <laughs> laughing at the jokes the one and only Joe Hansard oh hey now everybody look at this do you recognize this you are watching a scene from the Blair Witch Project considered one of the most successful and scary Josh, horror movies Josh, ever my next guest dreamed up the idea and directed the movie which has inspired dozens of copies let's say hello to Eduardo Sanchez <laughs> what a great thank pleasure you, thank you. Hey. to be oh, and look we're sitting in a graveyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, Welcome to the big show. So scary. You're from the area. I you am from the area. Montgomery yeah, County. I grew up in Montgomery County and uh, moved to Orlando to uh, edit Blair, to go to school and then right. edit Blair Witch and then came back and got married. And Where did the idea come from for Blair Witch? It was basically my partner and I, Dan Myrick, uh, sitting around in film school on a weekend saying yeah. how the horror movies of the time weren't really scaring us. And uh, I kind of, we just kind of thought, like, what, what scared us? And shows like In Search Of uh, right. with Leonard Nimoy right. were great. And so we figured out like maybe the thing is to make it like a documentary. I think you invented uh, a genre I would call the found video the found genre. Footage. And people have been copying it ever since. I like this Paranormal Activity 3. Yeah. It's, and, it's and your idea. Making a lot of money too. Well, yeah, are any. you out? Well, now, well now, I, now I know how uh, George Romero feels every time a zombie movie comes out and makes a ton of money. <laughs> so, uh, no, I mean, look, it's uh, it's cool. I mean, yeah. we, we actually didn't invent it. There was a movie yeah. called Cannibal yeah. Holocaust yeah. that was in like in the 70s that was banned here in the United yeah. States that we never saw. But And you were the first guy to, to use the internet. Yeah. To, yeah. to it was the only uh, we didn't have any money arch you know, uh, you know how it is but you invented yes I did yeah well I do now <laughs> judging by now the, that I'm here on this show thing. yeah uh, no we had no money so we were like hey it's the only way to to uh, market the film you know? hey, Hansard is laughing at our jokes this is what we're I doing know, it's all amazing. right I think this is going on you've got a movie coming out yeah. lovely Molly yeah we don't know when it's coming out but it'll be coming out next year it's we got a little Molly. sample of it should we should we show the yeah, folks so it's a real, it's a family film. Lovely so. Molly, yeah, Adam's family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What if she becomes dangerous? You're not in control anymore. Whatever. is not looking too lovely. No, no. She, she, she starts off lovely and then goes yeah. downhill. You know how it well, is. You know yeah, well, is. I know how that is. Yeah, yeah we all know. 
<laughs> but uh, there, that is uh, on the way to distribution. Yeah, we're still talking to some distributors, and the next couple of weeks we'll make an announcement. What is it about horror movies, anyway? You know, we got a Halloween thing here. What is it? Uh, you know, people like to be scared, and they like to be safe, and, you know, uh, it's just like why roller coasters are, uh, you know, are popular. It's like people like the thrill, but they don't like to be, you know, in real danger, so that's what horror films do. I want to mention that you're doing something on the web, para-abnormal yeah. yeah. activity, and our friend Joe Hansard is in it. We have a very quick scene of this. Uh, para, it's a web uh, yeah, It's called para-abnormal, and it's really great. Well, here's a little <laughs> para-abnormal. Let's see what we got. We're here at Docks Riverside Court in uh, Colonial Beach, and we're going to go meet the owner, Norm Norman. Hi, Mr. Norman. I'm Hot Sauce. Hmm. We're here to uh, investigate room number three. We've lost a lot of people in that room. 32 people jumped from the window, 16 stabbings, three hangings. There's always a chance of dying when you're doing ghost hunting, because you never know what's out there. And yeah, it's scary. So can we can we get in there? Your insurance paid up? Yeah. Yeah, we we've got insurance, right guys? Insurance? We've got uh, it? Uh I don't think so. What's insurance? Yeah, yes. I, Not that I geez, know of. He doesn't even know what insurance is. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. It's in your pocket. Joe Hansard hasn't been oh, insured Joe. in his life. <laughs> oh man. It's a great idea. And what what's the site? Paraabnormal. It's paranormal.net, I think. Dot TV. Yeah, TV. Oh, yeah. I don't even know. Joe is in but there. But yeah, Jamie Nash, my, uh, the guy who wrote it, came up with the idea, and these guys do great work, and it's very funny. We're doing a second season now. Ed, it's a great honor to have you Thanks on the show. Thanks for having me, man. Every filmmaker really in Washington it. looks up to you, and thank you so much for being here. And you'll be here uh, for more fun. I will. I and we'll have will. more fun. Ask Arch, in fact, is coming up. That's right. Look, everybody, it's Steve Buckhead. Do I get anything back. for free uh, for being no, here? <laughs> no, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> and Steve, you are here to help me with Ask Arch. I'm looking forward to this. It's the it lets the viewers ask the questions. I do it as part of my community service. So, so may we bring our first letter Delivered in tonight? Delivered from Joe Hansard. Joe Hansard is should there. I, should delivering I do this it. like Johnny Carson used to, Arch? Oh, that's right. I hope I don't I mess. Think <laughs> <laughs> Be careful of that. Lost it. We hear from a lot of the same people. Do we really? On this same show. folks? So, yeah, a lot of the same people, right. But Well, you have a big following. I know yeah. there's three people out where I live that are. Uh, <laughs> Who has written tonight? Angus Lamont. Oh, Angus Chevy Lamont. Chevy Chase writes Wonderful. Arch. Wonderful. I'm worried about my parents. They're mm -hmm. 95, 95, and she wants to divorce him. Wants to divorce. It all started 95. one night when she was rubbing her, when he started rubbing her back. He she began started to moan. rubbing her back. She started to moan. Right. So then he rubbed lower and lower. Lower. And then he suddenly stopped. Really? Mom wouldn't tell me why he stopped. Do you know why? I Arch? do know. It's because he found the remote control. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, quickly, quickly, <laughs> let's have our second letter, please. Look oh, and look, it's the famous. Ed Sanchez. It's Ed is Sanchez. It. You didn't get your it, face on well, camera. Well, you know, Ed, he's a director. He, he, he doesn't he's appear on camera much. <laughs> <laughs> Famous millionaire right, director. Here's the next one. I hope this one's a little mail better than the on last this one, Arch. Yes. This is coming from Angus Lamond. Oh, Chevy Angus Chase. Did he write a postscript? I sure hope it's not the same question. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes. What's that? Mom told me she and Dad almost made up after the remote control incident. Ah, uh, they almost made up. Good. In fact, she said she told my 95-year-old father that if he nibbled on her neck just like he used to, <laughs> she might forgive him. I mean, nibbled on her neck. So he got up and left the room. Why did he do that, Arch? Because he had to get his teeth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's quickly, this quickly, we just really, have time for our last letter. Nice and job. I believe <laughs> See, that this is... he knows to is, get more face cam uh, that Well, way. he's a yeah. big-time director. He is. He is a big-time director. His movie scared the you-know-what out of me. here by mistake. <laughs> this one, this comes from Mrs. Doreen Miller of Bethesda, and that she writes... The name sounds so familiar. Arch, hmm. it's almost Halloween, uh, so Halloween, I think yes. you need to take my Halloween quiz. A Halloween quiz from what Mrs. Doreen Miller. What is a ghost's favorite drink? Oh, well, that's easy. That's Ghoul-Aid. Ghoul-Aid? Yes. 
<laughs> what do mummies have instead of a sandwich for lunch? Instead of a sandwich, a mummy would have a wrap. A wrap? Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you call the ghost that got too close to the fire? That ghost is called the Toasty Ghosty. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big finish. This is the finale. The what happened to the ghost who celebrated too much on Halloween? The ghost who celebrated too much on Halloween got sheet faced. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> with Steve Buckhead. <laughs>Thank you, everybody, for watching tonight. Big thanks to Stevie Buckhantz and Joe Hansart and Eduardo Sanchez. What are you, about 6'8"? Thanks for watching, folks. See you next week. Happy Halloween.